Welcome to Fignar Custom Models channel. If you watch my video where I applied printed decals to the Nappy's food service truck, this is a little more content focusing how to photograph, edit, and print the graphics. The first image you're seeing is the file I use for pasting all the images onto one sheet. Good photos or high quality image downloads are critical to printing out your own decals. In this video I'll show you the photos I used, some mistakes I made and how to correct them, and what I would do differently the next time I take pics of the graphics I want to print. The most important thing is good lighting for your photos. Move the truck if you can to better lighting to get a good photo like this one. Here's a photo I used of the cab door decals. As you can see the shadow is going to prevent me from being able to print the decal without some photo editing. I moved the truck and took a picture that had minimal shadow and had good results. For the side panel photo I attempt to take a photo as dead on as I can and from as high as I can hold my camera phone to avoid the parallax effect where the top of the picture appears narrower than the bottom or if taken from an angle, the picture edges will not be square. For printing the photos out, I use clear decal sheets and a color laser printer, or you can print it at a copy center with their equipment. Mine is entry level for color laser printers. It's an HP LaserJet Pro 200. Link is in the description below. I crop the images to remove unnecessary imagery from what I ultimately want to include when I build the final picture sheet. scroll with the mouse which zooms in on the image I do some final cropping then rotate the image one degree or so to get it as close to level as I can. I then click to select part of the image I want to remove and click delete. Using the available shapes like a straight line, I'm doing the same thing as selecting and deleting except I'm using a colorless line to remove part. I use some available tools in the program like the spray paint can to remove imperfections, using the eyedropper tool to select a specific color on the image to duplicate like the green. Then I adjust the size of the spray paint tool to narrow the spray to a smaller point to only conceal the rivet or other parts of the picture I do not want to print. Next you can see the passenger side of the truck. Terrible lighting with this side much darker than the other due to the huge shadow. Turn the truck around to face the section in the daylight for best results or your left and right side will not match colors due to the darkness or you can try to brighten the image with the software to get it closer to matching. Some truck models I have made have an identical image on both sides so you only need one photo of a side to print two copies of it. The nappies are directional so I had to print photos of both sides to recreate the decals. This has a side door that you can either include in your printing or photo edit out, which is very time consuming. But I primarily use the same tools to edit out the side door for printing as used in the previous demonstration. Once I'm done editing the photos, I copy and paste them onto one file to print all together. I then do test prints on plain paper with black and white to adjust the sizes of the images before printing on the clear sheets. And this is what the printed page looks like. Now you're ready to apply the decals onto the model trucks. See my other videos for more customized model trucks. Post comments, questions below, and if you found value in watching this type of instructional video, please like and subscribe. My name is Don from Fignar Custom Model Videos, and I thank you for watching.